सो लेट्स कॉल अपॉन सुचि पंडित प्रोमेथियस प्रोमेथियस सुचि पंडित
He also taught them how they can keep themselves warm and cold. And golden age had come. People were living happily. One day, one day when Jupiter was riding on his golden chariot amidst cloud, he chanced to look down upon earth. He was shocked and outraged by seeing happy people. And he asked, who is this person who has done all this? And somebody just looked up to Jupiter and said, Prometheus. He was angry and he said that let these human beings keep fire because I will give them miseries that are 10,000 times more powerful than fire. I'll give them the seasons. And for Prometheus, I'll make sure that he gets his punishment. And he called his friend, demon Vulcan. He told Vulcan that get the Prometheus. And Vulcan cut Prometheus in iron chains. And he took him to Mount Caucasus. And he tied him there. Wherein fierce wind flew across the face of Prometheus. And there were eagles shrieking in his ear. He was tied with chains. And there were eagles with sharp claws were tearing his flesh day and night. And he was in a very sad condition. And then... One day, when Prometheus was at Mount Caucasus, he saw a white cow passing by. This white cow had a human face. Prometheus said, I know you are not a cow. You were a maiden, a fair maiden, before you turned into a cow. And your name is Io, I know. I also know that, that tyrant Jupiter had caused you and turned you into the cow. But don't worry. You deserve so much better. You go to River Nile in Egypt. And there you'll turn into maiden again. And you will marry a king, king of Egypt. Remember my words. And from your progeny, a man would, born, would be born. And that hero would set me free. And that will be the day that Jupiter cannot hasten or deal with. And I will wait for that day till that hero comes to rescue me. The cow was unable to speak anything. But she looked at up at Prometheus with sorrowful eyes. And she turned around and walked on her way to cover her journey to the land of Nile, Egypt. And finally, after thousand years, after ten generations, the great Greek warrior Hercules was born. And Hercules he traveled all the way to Mount Caucasus with his sword, and he slayed away all those fierce eagles. He dealt with thunderbolt of Jupiter, and nothing could stop him to set Prometheus free. Cut the chains of Prometheus, and finally, Prometheus was free. Prometheus said to Hercules, I knew you would come. I've told about your coming to Io long back. To this, Hercules replied, And I am son from the race of Io. Io was our godmother ten generations back. So friends, in the end, truth and justice time. It doesn't matter if it takes one year or ten thousand years. If you walk on the path of truth and justice, in the end, you win, like how Prometheus did. Over to you, Toastmaster.